guys, this is Dan from iPadJailbreak.com. Um, I have an iOS 7 beta on my iPhone. Um, it's not available yet for the iPad. Um, but I was going to give you a quick run through of Safari in iOS 7. If you haven't already seen it, um, this is the tab browsing, and this is, as you can see, the websites. So I can pull up the tab browsing. I can click on one that I want to go to. As you can see, there's a bar at the bottom, a bar at the top. Uh, if you start to Start start to scroll a little bit. The the top here gets smaller, and then the bottom kind of folds away, giving you more more of your screen. Doesn't there's no longer the button here to make it full screen like there used to be. The uh, the bar at the top here is a dual purpose bar, so you don't have a search bar that's separate from the the URL bar. Uh, so you can just type in. The only thing I've noticed is the keyboard, the spacebar is really tight with the .com always up and available. Um, normally when you're typing in the search bar, um, the, the, the space bar is larger, so I keep catching my finger on that when I'm typing. But other, other than that, I do like having the uni, unified bar. And if you didn't know this, in uh, Cydia you can get unibar, and that will be the, the, the tweak that integrates them both into one like Chrome has, and I think Bing has it as well. Uh, so anyway, as you can see, the, the the top gets smaller and the bottom gets smaller out. Uh, on the bottom here, you have um, your AirDrop and those kinds of things on the bottom. So you can just bookmark it or add it to home screen. You can send it right to Twitter, just like before. Uh, your bookmarks, as you can see, all your bookmarks are right there as well. And then this is your tab browsing, which is very nice. Uh, there's no longer the tab limit on the number of tabs that you have. I have about eight or nine open now. Um, I've opened up 20 and I haven't had any problems with it telling me that I've reached a limit or anything like that. So kind of have a screen preview, um, a nice little format. You can see three or four at the same time. Or you can actually see the fifth one there. Um, but anyway, uh, this is Safari. Um, if there's anything else you guys would like to see, there's also this private bar, a private button here as well. So you can surf privately or just plus or bring up a new, a new tab. So... That's pretty much the run through for Safari, and if, if you didn't see the new icon, I'll pull that back up here. And that's the new icon that they added for Safari. So um, be sure to check it out, and uh, I don't think there's very much in settings that is uh, available for Safari. Uh, you can select your search engine, uh, you can select change it to Bing or Yahoo. Uh, there's not much new here in this though, uh, fraudulent smart search field. Um, it give you suggestions or preload, so it'll go ahead and start loading up the the, the top hit uh, reading list and those advanced settings here, your website data, job on those kinds of things. So that's pretty much it for Safari and iOS 7. Hopefully, uh, there's a few things that are added for the iPad version. Um, but other than that, uh, just be sure to check us out at iPadJailbreak.com and subscribe to our videos and also give us a thumbs up on the on these videos. Uh, help spread the word. Thanks, guys.